What's going on guys and girls, Ashley here from Player TV and today we're going to be having a look at this new gra graphics card. It's a motherboard. Is it a graphics card? It's a motherboard. Look at the box. It says MSI on it, they do graphics cards too. Yeah, they make VGA. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Breville, Breville make toasters but, you know, there was a car called the Breville. Was it? Yeah, but it had nothing to do with actual Breville that made toasters. That's got pretty... I want a toasty. Basically, you're thinking about toasters because you want a toaster. Yeah. <laughs> For sake. Sorry, there we go. You are meant to be leaving this office. You finished it, player. What's going on guys and girls, Asher here from Player TV and today we're having a look at this brand new motherboard from MSI. It is and a... you will never replace me. What's going on guys and girls, this is Ashley from Player TV and today we're here having a... Having a look at this brand new MSI motherboard. It's a X99 Gaming Pro Carb on one of the newest editions. More of a budget friendly board, it's not the top of the range kind of thing. But it is absolutely gorgeous board by the look of the box so we've got to take a look inside first do a little unboxing for you this is different from what gav used to do but we'll take a look inside and see what we think so guys as i've already said i've actually got to do these reviews a bit differently instead of just doing the review straight away i'm actually got to do an unboxing on camera as well so i can show you what i think of the actual unboxing experience because it is sometimes important i guess it depends if you're into it or not if you are then click this button just in the crasp of my hand Crasp? That's probably a word. The crasp of my hand? That's definitely not a word. And that will put you straight to the review and then you can just find out what the board's all about. But if you are interested in what is inside the box, which I am, that's why I open them. So I'm going to let you know. So starting off on the front of the box, obviously of the branding, the board, which looks very nice with all the LED lights and stuff about it. And then MSI branding, the X299, which is a chipset, obviously. Then it's telling us, obviously, it's got RGB and Mystic Light, which is kind of like a raw sync and other people like that, where you can link up all the light and stuff to other peripherals. VR ready, which most motherboards, especially on the X299, probably are. Uh, nothing on that side, and some gunk on that side. On the back, so back, obviously, it's got to give us all the bits and pieces about what extra it does and how it's better than other motherboards. So one of the things it says is it's got turbo socket, so it boosts game performance. 1.6 times boost performance on DDR4. See how that does in review, if it gives it an edge at all. M.2 shield, like Gav said in the previous motherboard review we did, you've got to see a lot of more of these because they do give you protection because obviously m.2 is just basically a chip hanging off your board most of the time and these obviously help the heat as well because it is a chip if you've ever felt a naked thumb drive you know they actually get warm as well so having that bit of performance or a bit of extra gain on it is going to help quite a lot or not enough depends we'll find out in the future turbo u.2 so 32 gig high speed that's the little nugget just down there and everything it tells us again in greater detail gives you a quick look of the specifications an io shield and yeah that's about the box we'll have a look inside that's the interesting part really Straight away, motherboard, that's always nice. Knows that you've not been ripped off by an eBay seller and you've actually got the product you're asking for. We'll have a look at that in a little bit. Straight away, SOI bridge, that's nice. Screws, standoffs by the looks of it, that's always nice. One, two, three, four. Four SATA cables that come in the box. A little baggy. And inside this little baggy, apologize for the hole, by the way. We've got the bracket, a LED extender. So you can get your LEDs inside your case. And actually the two antennas, which is a bit odd because normally they either just hang off the back of the motherboard, but this one comes with two and they are the ones that you kind of sit away from your computer. So it might help with some people if they've got a bad or a bit of a spotty Wi-Fi connection. Opening up again, we've got MSI Gaming Pro. I don't know what these bits are. What are these bits? Oh, other heat shrink shrouds. So with this board, obviously you can replace the shroud on there and put a new one there if you want to liven it up best thing about these is you can paint them really easily because you don't have to mask up your motherboard so there's no risk in really killing your motherboard so we're good for modding community and if you're not that great or don't want to damage a 300 pound motherboard you've just bought these are fantastic a lot of people are actually now starting to support it so you can actually do the 3d printing as well which is always nice to see embracing the future what else we've got in here our little badge for the front of your computer these are quite cool, SATA, SATA cable labels. So SATA cable labels, that's a, something you can't say fast. SATA cable labels. So basically, 
you can write which bit of the computer it's going to because all SATA cables look exactly the same and you can put it if it's the boot drive if it's a cd or blu-ray player if it's extra storage raid one or whichever way you've got in there oh so we've got quick installation guide Oh, that's quite handy. Then we notice, so it's on one bit of paper, so you don't have to go looking through. So it tells you what socket, what dim sorts to put your actual memory in, depending on what you're running. MSI, CD, don't use it, just download the like, newer one offline. Thank you for purchasing MSI. And a book thicker than the Bible, which is your installation guide. And it is all in English, so that is a hell of a lot to read through. Very good little tip for you, if you buy a new motherboard, Put the user manual, if you, like, especially the error codes and stuff, put the user manual in the toilet and don't take your phone when you go for a poo. So when you go for a poo, all you've got to read is the error guide. And I swear it helps. You do learn it. It took me about two weeks of pooping, but I now know most error codes. I think 50 is something to do with memory. So you've seen our little unboxing adventure. If you like it, let us know and we'll keep doing it. If you don't like it, tell us. I'll just probably keep doing them and I'll just show you how to skip them. But anyway, we've got done for that now. Now it's time to actually have a look at the board itself. So it's obviously based on Intel's X299 chipset with the LGA 2066 socket on it. So that's 2066 pins. I bet you can't count that many with a magnifying glass. On the motherboard itself, it does feature plenty of RGB, which is obviously all customizable with zoning and stuff like that and different kind of effects. And if you get different LED kits, you can also connect them directly to the motherboard. So all your kits can join in the LED part that is still going on and you know something I love it I love LEDs give me more LEDs please this board also features MSI steel armor which is on around the 16 time slots and it's actually also on the dim slots as well dim slots I won't be too worried about really because you're not really taking them on and off but with the obviously 16 next slots with graphics cards getting heavier and heavier that is a nice feature to have it just gives you a bit of peace of mind really Speaking of the PCI 16 slots, the actual board features four PCI 16 Gen 3 slots and it also has two PCI Express 1 slots as well. So there's a nice amount of expandability there for you. Since obviously the motherboard does actually support NVIDIA SI and AMD Crossfire. And speaking about the DIMM slots as well, it has, supports dual and quad channel memory on the actual motherboard, obviously depending on your processor. It has, it, you can, the motherboard can actually go to speeds of 4,133 megahertz, but that is only obviously when overclocking. And the actual maximum amount is a nice 120 gigabytes in total. And obviously it's got eight DIMM slots. So there's lots of room for expandability over time if you don't want to buy 128 gigabytes and straight away because it's, that's probably more than the motherboard. It is more than the motherboard in fact. I know, dims are it's expensive. Oh. So, storage options on this motherboard. We've got the eight SATA 3 ports just down the right-hand side, where they should be. And you've also got the two M.2 slots, which have that uh, M.2 shield on it, which helps with the heat dissipation. And obviously, we've also got a U.2 port. With hard drives on this motherboard as well, you also get RAID support, so you can actually have RAID 0, 1, 5, and 10. The motherboard's also got a really nice looking audio section which is all separated from the board so to stop interference and stuff like that as they tell us. Um, it's got audio boost 4 technology using the common, relatively common any Realtek ALC1220 codec. So going around to the back of the board where the IO shield is, you'll find included on it is a clear CMOS button, a BIOS flash black push button, the PS2 keyboard and mouse combo port, three USB 2 ports, four USB 3.1 ports, and one USB 3.1 type A slot, one USB 3.1 type C slot, two Wi-Fi antennas, which obviously go with them antennas that come in the board, a SPDIF optical output, five 3.5 millimeter jacks for surround sound audio and obviously your microphones and stuff like that. So that's a quick overlook of the board anyway. Now it's time to have a quick look at the graphs and see what kind of performance we can actually get out of this thing. Here's the test set up. That oh, that's a very expensive board and I can't afford to replace it and I just now knocked it off the table. So here's the test setup we used to test all the boards. The only difference being is it's a different motherboard. And here come the graphs to show you how well it did or how well it didn't do. The graphs will show. And now then I'll talk to you after.
So as you've just seen by the graphs, it is a nice little performer this board, doing very well and keeping up to the competition. Interesting enough, it does actually do a little bit better in games as well, which it does say in the box, it does have a game booster, so maybe it's actually doing its job. It probably is because we've just tested it and it's doing its job. So the actual review on the bone, very well. It's got great effect. It does look absolutely gorgeous. I mean, especially the LED lights. I mean, look at the B-roll now. It's just beautiful. I'm just going to talk real small into my microphone. Let you know how beautiful that is. It's just, it's just amazing. I can't believe how well it did. It's, look at it. Yeah, very good looking board, absolutely cracking. And the bonus bit as well is obviously these bits that you can play. So if you don't like the carbon look, even though the board is called a carbon, if you don't like the carbon look, you can go play some. And the bits it comes with are really easy to spray paint. So you can just change your colour scheme just like that. So at the moment in time, the board's priced at around about £275 in the UK, which for X299 board with all these kind of features, especially the interchangeable plates, the M two M.2 drives, all of the SATA, the RAID, etc., dim slots, you know, everything you get of an X299 board, it is a nice little price for that. And to say it's a good price, it is a good performer as well. And it's got a lot of other features that we didn't even get round to talking about. For example, the overclocking knob on the side, obviously all the extra bits and bobs and the... Oh, there's... Hey. Is that knob? <laughs> it is a knob. It's an overclock knob. or see knob. Now, I need to stop going B-roll and actually give you an award for this because it is worthy of a player award. Um, we've been thinking about it and we do think. No, don't think. We know. It's, it's definitely a gold award. I mean, not only is it a good price, I've said this already, not only is the LEDs, and I'm, I'm doing slow motion the LED panning again because I know editor me will do this in the future. And obviously 128 gigabytes supported DRAM, the MSI armor on the PCI lane, so it's not going to get damaged as easy. You just get a lot of features for your money in this board, so it is definitely worth the gold. So guys, before this motherboard actually kind of falls down on me, which I'm pretty sure it's got to do, um, thank you very much for watching. I am Ashley. I'm not new here at play. I've been doing bits and pieces behind the scenes, but I'm mostly taken over from Gav and this motherboard is going to go for, so I'm just going to skip the entire part and go straight to it. So yes, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I've ruined it. It's got all of my top. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Um, if you didn't, tell us what you think in the comments. Are you going to get one of these motherboards? Are you looking at X299 as a possibility? Um, but yeah, and like I said, I need feedback on these videos. I want to hear what you guys are thinking. So thank you very much for watching and I shall see you next time. Goodbye. I'll see if I've still got a job after dropping a 275 quid motherboard. Gav? Nope. Damn it!